My name is William Etheridge, and I am the Executive Director of Northeast Carolina Preparatory School. Northeast Carolina Preparatory School is a K-12 public charter school in a very rural region of eastern North Carolina. This region of the state is a high poverty area. We have never done remote learning until this health crisis, and we did not see this coming. On March the 13th, we were told that the students could no longer attend school and they were going to have to be taught remotely. Parents came up and picked up packets of work for them to do, and then they would have to bring the packets up here, and that just is not a good way to do it. With teaching, students need immediate feedback on their work, and they need to collaborate with students in their class. They need to interact with the teacher, and we weren't able to do that using packets. We wanted to do live instruction. We feel that that is more effective than asynchronous instruction. We were able to do that with remote learning and we were determined that every child would have equal access to the curriculum. If they did not have internet connections at home that the school would provide that for them by providing hotspot devices and Chromebooks to those students who didn't have them. We had no idea how many students needed connectivity in their homes. We greatly underestimated how much support they needed in this area. We needed 300 hotspots overnight and U.S. Cellular was the only carrier that was able to provide that for us. And I established a relationship with Chuck, who was a sales rep for U.S. Cellular. Chuck was available to help us work through whatever we were trying to work through at the time. The other cell phone company uh, stopped answering the phone after they made the sale. What sets U.S. Cellular apart from other carriers is the customer service that they provided. I've had very positive feedback from the parents about what we're doing and they are saying that NECP has risen to the challenge to provide their children with a quality education by providing them with hotspot devices. So now we have the resources that we can teach them at home and improve their academic achievement. Even when COVID-19 is over and all of our students can return to campus, we see the value that this is to students. We see the value that this is to the school and we are looking for other ways to use remote learning effectively. U.S. Cellular Hotspot saved us a lot of time setting them up and getting them ready to distribute to the parents. They came through for me when I needed them the most.